morning guys happy sunday uh the snow is really coming down right now i really wasn't expecting it to snow i don't know why i wasn't expecting that because it was in the forecast at 80 percent so I don't, i'm just an idiot maybe this is just gonna be a little sunday vlog i am really excited for today i don't know why there's nothing really to be excited about but right now I need to finish putting in the description tags title of my video that's going live in one hour. I stayed up until like 1 a.m. editing it last night. I'm going to finish doing this and then I'm going to tell you guys how I edit my thumbnails. A ton of you guys have been asking me that actually and again it's more than one, one or two of you. It's like if I had to count I would say nine people ask me it's not a lot but um it's more than one more than zero so i'm going to show you guys how i do my thumbnails and yeah i'm excited to get this day started all right let's get to some work i've put in all of the like details for the video so now i need to work on the thumbnail not a dramatic change but they've changed a little bit they went from looking like this to now looking like this there's a few things that i did deliberately because i just know the way people's brains work and i think i noticed this on my instagram whenever i have a photo that has like blue in it it always does a lot better than photos that don't that are like more busy or that don't have blue so i've started to shift my youtube thumbnails to be more of a blue background which is like the sky or water i posted a video last week and it was a little shorter so that might be why it didn't get as many clicks but it didn't have a blue black background and that video did it underperformed the other ones with blue black background so i think that's something just interesting <laughs> that um i implemented on my youtube and i've seen that that's you know what happened the first thing i'll do is i actually will take photos like before i would just screenshot little parts of my clips but now i actually take photos so i'll have two blue photos it's like the sky and the water for this one and i'll record my screen right now so that you guys can see we're gonna have to move fast because my ipad's battery is dying also i don't know why my computer is breathing so hard right now i mean my apple pencil is dying this is all over the place right now <laughs> ah! okay so the first thing that i do is i pick the two photos that i want to use i'm not vibing with this i'm not gonna lie so i might just make it one photo which i think that's fine okay i think this is how i'm gonna do the background i save that and then we go into procreate this is where all my thumbnails are saved and I'll just upload that photo. You have to make sure it's the one that's in the right dimensions, which is 16 by nine. And then I will bring in whatever photo I'm wanting to put in here. So I think it will be this one. This is kind of the tedious part, which why my thumbnails take probably like an hour to make. But today we're gonna have to go fast because this video is going up in like 30 minutes. So this is where I just erase everything on the outline. But some people say that they can do this on PixArt with the click of a button. I feel like I just don't trust that and I've never tried it but I don't want to so there's that but you probably could do this on Pixar very quickly I just want all the details like to not be hidden you know so I zoom in like really close I look like the hunchback of Notre Dame and now we have me in the center of this photo and then i'm gonna add little things on either corner but i'll come back after i finish those two photos i'm at the point where i like the final product of the thumbnail but i don't like the color of the background i think it's just too much so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go into lightroom bring in the background photo presets that i use on my thumbnails and like any photo that is edited is Emma Leger preset. Everything is on different layers so you can add in another one. So we're just going to drag this one. Oh, it added it twice. We're just going to drag 
the new inserted image all the way to the bottom. And I think that looks so much better. I actually have this kind of saved. Well, not saved, but I have it in this vlog. I mean, in this thumbnail. So I'm just going to copy this one and then we're just gonna bring it to this one to make it look like it's behind my head it's super easy you just have to make sure that it's underneath the layer i really love this one this is so cute okay so now i've started adding these like little texts i i feel like uh used to like doing doodles but i don't really like handwritten stuff on my um thumbnails anymore the font that i use for the big background is called king things organica and i just got it from defont.com the next one the little text that i use it's called vcr osd mono and i'm just gonna type on this like some random things about what's going on in the vlog so i'm gonna type instagram photo shoot that's so cringy and i want it to all be on one line i want it to be white but i have to highlight it of course okay i feel like this is it this is the this is the thumbnail um sometimes if you can't see the like little text which it's kind of hard to see i duplicate the layer and on the bottom one i will make it black and then i'll take my i'll turn on the like move thing and I move it down just a tiny tiny bit so for the whole layer I'll just do a Gaussian blur and then I will turn down the opacity of that because I don't want it to be like super prominent I just want you to be able to read it you know um although I don't really like the way that looks at this moment so I'm just probably gonna turn that off this is like a race against time <gasps> three minutes okay we're ditching this no that's not gonna happen and that is how i complete my thumbnails um for the rest of the day i have some laundry to do we have some other things to do i also have a package that we're gonna unbox together but as for right now i'm gonna go get some breakfast Don't funny it miraculously stopped snowing and i'm so happy about that but i just had my coffee it was delicious i made these little heart shaped ice cubes and i think they're just so cute and i had some la colombe um oat milk latte delicious so good i got a package the other day from um someone who watches my video but she, or my videos but she has a wellness brand i think it is her name is kate so kate if you're watching this thank you so much i'm sure she is because she saw that i ran out of my collagen and she was like oh i'll send you some so we're just gonna do a little unboxing this is what the brand is called whoa okay aloe gorgeous vegan collagen boosting powder supplement so i'm going to start putting these into my smoothies and see how i like them and i'll tell you guys this is the vanilla flavor this one probably will be my favorite because i just love vanilla chocolate peanut butter good skin day calming skin support supplement harmonious hormonal balance and support supplement and it's like really good packaging too there's like very minimal waste it's just like this and then the cardboard piece which i'm sure is all recyclable and we love that now i think since the sun has miraculously come out i think i should start filming b-roll for my editing video i haven't filmed it yet but there's a lot of b-roll that i need to get so maybe i'll focus on b-roll today and then actually filming the video tomorrow i also need to plan the video but right now i'm going to kind of write down everything for the plan of that video then get that started and later we're gonna go literally to so many thrift shops because i am determined to find a weightlifting bench from a thrift shop i've been looking on facebook marketplace but they're like a hundred dollars and i just don't want to spend that when i know i have seen one at the thrift store for ten dollars so i'm just gonna go to a few of them today and if i don't find them it's okay you know at least i got some fresh air um but yeah, that's the plan. So I will see you guys shortly.
I didn't find a weightlifting bench, but that's okay. It'll be there when it needs to be there, and when it's there, I'm gonna be so excited. But the sunset is it, so we're just gonna sit and watch her go off. I just showered but I'm about to do my skincare and I'm just gonna tell you this right here I literally have a zet on my face we're gonna have to um, do something about that because I don't even know how to deal with acne at this point like it's just rude and inconsiderate I'm gonna do a little cocktail of this this I'm actually supposed to use this every day if you guys didn't know I was on Accutane a year ago is when I ended it I ended it in March of 2020 and I'm actually supposed to use this every single day but I just never did so whenever I get a little acne I just mix it into my moisturizer and that's what we do I want to thank you guys for watching this video I stopped watching the Super Bowl it's Super Bowl Sunday if I didn't say that but I stopped watching the Super Bowl probably at the third quarter because it just wasn't interesting to me I don't really care about football I'm not gonna lie I don't care about professional football I said it sue me sue me so I hope you guys enjoyed this video I will see you guys next time bye no! <laughs> Subscribe to Daisy Blake and you'll get this link. I'll link it below. <laughs> <laughs>